Hey, what's up guys? Baker here with another tutorial. And this will be my first transition tutorial. So, it's, this one is uh, pretty simple, I think. Um, here's uh, a quick preview of what we're going to be going over today. So you can see here, we have a, a layer and it'll just slide from the side. We got a little bit of uh, motion blur and uh, Looks pretty simple. And then uh, I also got this example. So you can see here it moves, it like kind of loops around. And uh, that one's pretty neat. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. Make a new comp. Doesn't matter as long as it fits your liking. And we'll go ahead and use care package knife and barrel roll. Okay, so we drag these in. And uh, this transition we want it to be about like a half a second overlap. It needs to be pretty short. So if we uh, push B, push N, and just uh, push plus to zoom in here. Now if you don't know these uh, keyboard shortcuts, check out my other tutorial. And uh, got a whole bunch of shortcuts for you. Alright, so we're going to overlap this about a half a second. So that's uh, from 0 to 15, relatively uh, about a half a second. Alright, so what we're going to do here is put the uh, this layer on top and go to the end right about here, end of this clip, push P for position, set a keyframe, go back to the beginning about here, and just slide this over to the right, or it could be up left, down, whatever you want. So we got this uh, sliding layer and that's about it and uh, we can turn on the motion blur if we go to these little three circles here and check the little box and check the motion blur motion blur for the comp and we get a little bit of motion blur and uh, we can make this a little bit smoother by highlighting these keyframes right click and go to easy ease and that will kind of just smooth it out as it starts and smooth it out as it ends pretty subtle but take a quick quick look <sighs> All right, and uh, really quick, if you want to check like the speed and like timing of things, uh, decrease your preview resolution. But if you want to look at details, uh, go ahead and go to full. But it'll take longer to uh, preview, and it won't really preview as much as if you did quarter, because some people are asking uh, it only ran previews for about like two seconds and then stops. Well, yeah, that's just because it's either like working too hard or something. So go ahead and decrease it, just to get the feel of the timing and uh, syncing and anything like that. All right, next example. I'll make a new comp again, and this time I used no scope and kickflip. What's a face catnip? Now these are uh, clips from my friend Nico. I edited a uh, little quick edit for him, but. Again, let's go into here. This, uh, we want them to overlap about a second or so. So uh, there we go, 9 to 10. That, that looks good. And what we're going to do here oops, is create an adjustment layer. So let's go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and type in Offset, Distort Offset. Let's put that on. Now let's go to the front of this layer and click Shift Center 2 move forward and uh, we can just drag the Y value here and just kind of see that just drag it down now if you want it to end even somewhere around there here's what you do so this is reset back to 360 go in here and push star or times an odd number so let's say like nine so it's gonna automatically go to perfectly like uh, lined up and it will still go about eight or nine times or something like that. And uh, we can't put any motion blur on here because the layers aren't actually moving. It's just an adjustment layer that's like shifting it. So we're going to have to add our own blur. So we'll go to directional blur. Add that in. Make sure the direction is up or down, actually. Go to the beginning again. Blur, blur length to zero. The middle blur length to I think I use 50 and then go to the end right here 
and set it back down to zero. Now I just kind of noticed it. Uh, let's see here. It uh, it jumps right here, right? So we can go in the middle, a little bit for, before the middle. Push T for opacity. Keyframe this from zero. Move forward a few frames and put this back to 100. So it starts spinning on the first clip, and then when it's really fast, it'll fade to the next one, and you won't really notice. So uh, that looks cool. Let's push U for the adjustment layer, and then the offset, highlight those keyframes, and also add an easy ease. And let's actually go make sure this is selected. Go to the graph editor right here, and we can see the velocity of how fast it's moving. And just drag these handles in a little bit, and that will smooth it even more. And it will make the middle move a little bit faster. Okay. And we can also add a little bit of curves as it is moving. So let's add some curves onto here. And uh, let's go to the first keyframe, or the, the beginning. Set a uh, keyframe. Now, instead of going to the uh, middle, Right now we're going to go to the very end, set another blank keyframe so that we don't have to like reset it later. So now we go to the middle and we can adjust how we want. So I'm just going to kind of brighten up a little bit. I don't know what happened here. Let's get rid of these. Yeah, if you just drag these points off, they'll disappear. So let's kind of boost it up a little bit brighter, maybe a little bit of contrast. And how about the blue? Let's get rid of these again. What the hell? That is going crazy. I'm sorry, guys. Alright. And let's add maybe like a little bit of blue. Alright, so let's let's take a look. Except don't do it on full, because that will take a little while to do. Looks pretty cool. Hope it's not lagging for you guys, but... And we'll just loop and slide and bright flash kind of thing. And yeah, there you go. That's about it, you guys. Um, quick sliding transition. If you have any other transi transitions, let me know. Uh, send me a link and I'll take a look and I'll try to uh, explain it and make a tutorial. And uh, have fun, you guys. And if you're still here, please check out these other tutorials that I've made. They are pretty useful, I would say. And uh, yeah, go ahead and click the link right now.